How to get more storage space on your Android phone without deleting anything. Before you get into the steps of creating more space on your phone, what you'll need to do is an analysis that will tell you what files are taking more space on your phone. And you can do that by going into your settings and searching for storage option and selecting it. This will show you how much storage space you have available on your device as well as how much total is possible. And then it will also give you a breakdown of how much space the apps are taking, how much is pictures taking, audio, cached, as well as uh, other files. Let's try to see how much space I can actually create on my device following these steps. Easiest way on how you can create more space on your device is by clearing out the cache data and cache data refers to temporary data that apps use from time to time and I'm gonna click on OK now just by clearing out the cached I've already doubled the amount of storage space available on my Android phone note that there is still a little bit of uh, data being used as cached and that's because there might be some other app running in the background that is using that uh, storage space and that's completely fine. In case of my phone, it was really easy to clear out the cache data. I just have to tap and then I can clear all the cache data. However, if you're having issues there, what you can do is you can install an app that will make it a little bit easier process for you. It's called CC Cleaner. And once you install it, you'll have to do a scan on your device. Once it finishes, you will be able to have a quick cleaning option here with the cache data and you have to select it. And when you select it, you'll just have to uh, select go for the cleaning. I do recommend you to go only with the save to clean deleting options here. So all you would have to do is tap and then select finish cleaning, which will clear out those files for you. Now that we are done with cache data, let's move on to the other categories where we are taking a lot of storage space on our phone. Currently for me, pictures and videos is taking 56.29 gigabytes of my storage space, which is a little less than half of my total capacity. If you have a lot of pictures like me on your Android phone, what you can do is you can compress those pictures and create more space on your device. There are a ton of photo compression apps available on the Google Play Store and most of them are free. Uh, feel free to try out any of these apps. Uh, for demonstration purpose, I have this app already installed. It's called CC Cleaner. And once I open it, I'm gonna go in Photo Optimizer and select on Show Photos. And then I'm gonna go select all, confirm, and then it has a default screen size and compression set up already. Um, and compression can reduce the quality of the picture as well. So make sure that you do not go with aggressive settings. So they have a low compression, moderate compression, high compression, and aggressive compression. And then uh, they have example picture as well. So there is a before and after uh, the compression. Uh, you can always select and zoom in to see if everything looks good for the picture and then you can adjust accordingly. So let's say if the picture is not that good, you can select low. But if the picture is like amazingly good, maybe you go with aggressive compression. What I recommend you is somewhere between low and moderate. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select continue. Then uh, it has the option of original photos. So it says decide what we should do with the original photos. Um, you can uh, retain those photos, uh, which is keep original if you're not sure how the pictures will turn out now. Or the other option is you can actually connect to cloud storage and uh, have a backup or just go with delete. So for me, I'll just go with delete because um, 
I'm pretty sure that the quality wouldn't be affected that much and I do already have a backup of most of these pictures. And then I'm going to click on optimize now. So let's wait for this process to get completed. So the process just finished and it says 8.27 GB cleaned which is amazing. Now let's try to see what it says in the storage as well just to confirm and it says the available storage space now is at 26.20 gigabytes. Now that I've shown you how to compress pictures and create more space let's move on to the videos. For that you'll need another app and you can install any app the one I recommend you guys is it's called video compressor and once you install it open it and um, select whichever videos you want to compress sometimes um, there might be a video that you do not want to compress because it's high resolution but sometimes you do not need that resolution to be that high enough so for example I have this video and it's 127 megabytes I'm gonna click on next here and then I have three options so this video was originally shot in 4k and I have the the best quality just compress option but it will still keep about the same size maybe slightly less uh, for this video I just need maybe the 1080p resolution and I'll just go with the medium file better quality and then I'm gonna select compress so let's see how much size it takes after the compression and here's the result of compression the original size was 127 megabytes the compressed is only 51 megabytes and it's at 1080p and I saved a total of 77 megabytes just by compressing a single file. Now if I was doing it for all my files I could have a few more gigabytes available on my device. Note that this is a very time consuming process so make sure that you're doing it at maybe at night time and it can take a couple of hours depending on how much content uh, you have on your device. You can apply the same approach to music files as well. Just download the audio converter app um, and then make sure that the bitrate is set to 128 KB per second. You might notice um, significant reduction in quality if it's at 64 or less. If you have a lot of PDF text files on your phone what you can do is you can actually compress them with an app it's called RAR and for example I have this 2020 application.pdf and once I compressed it it became only 869 kilobytes once I compress the PDF I can actually delete those files and if I want to access them I can just select and open it whenever I want. If you have hundreds or thousands of PDF text files on your phone, I do recommend you guys to compress all them and it will create a lot of space on your phone. The last thing you can do to create more space is by clearing out user data from apps that you do not use but might use in the future. For that you'll need to go in settings and look for apps manage apps and then for apps that you have installed on your device but rarely use at all in the last month for example I have this app called sweatcoin and once I tap on it it's using 92.72 storage space and I don't really use it but maybe in the next month I might use it so I'm just gonna go and keep the app but clear all the data and that created 3 megabytes however if I go with TikTok and right now it's using 236 megabytes I'm gonna clear all data and that created about 40 megabytes and you can do that for a uh, lot of apps and create a lot more space on your device. I hope you guys find this video useful and were able to create more space on your Android device. 
uh, do check out my other videos as well and uh, thank you bye